This morning's Coffee With is with Margot Robbie. And the satellite interview is furnished by Roadside Attractions. <laughs> Margot, welcome to WJZ. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. So is Lynn. <laughs> We're going to bring the audience in the loop on something. We're going to find out how great our professionalism is this morning. We have over a second satellite delay. Okay, this is science fiction unto its own self. <laughs> So it's going to kind of be like, hey, Margo, you excited about the movie? Over? It's, it's so funny because I just did a film where I was playing a reporter. And when I was doing the news reports, I was pretending, you know, I, I was pretending I had an earpiece and would pretend there was a satellite delay. So I'd be like, and that is coming just <laughs> into the studio. <laughs> Yes, Cindy, that's right. You that's know, so great. Now, now it's actually that's happening great. in real life. It's, it's far more frustrating than I ever imagined. So I'm sorry about that. You want to hear a great story about a satellite delay? We're only 38 miles away from the Goddard Space Flight Center, arguably one of the hubs of space exploration. On oh, really? The, yeah, arguably one of the hubs of space exploration on this planet. When we do a satellite interview with them, they're 38 miles away. We have a two and a half second satellite delay. It's it's easier for them to talk to to <laughs> astronauts to, to astronauts than it is than to us. us. <laughs> ironic, very ironic. Hey, let's talk Z for Zachariah. You excited about it? A little foray into science fiction for you. Over. <laughs> Yeah, no, really excited about it. It was um, it was a very different film to anything I'd done before, a very different character. Um, it was a much smaller cast and, and crew. Everything about it was pretty different to things I'd been doing previously. So um, I had such a good time making it, and I think we really created something different and unique. And I'm really happy for people to see it. Margot is obviously Australian, and Marty, you'll appreciate this. In the movie, she has an extremely believable southern accent. Yeah, I was meant to be from uh, southwest Virginia. It was meant to be like an Appalachian accent, and I had no idea how to do that. So um, I obviously worked with a dialect coach, thank God. And uh, YouTube is kind of my go-to these days. I just... Uh, so there's a there's a 14 year old girl out there from Southwest Virginia who didn't realize that every day I was listening to her YouTube on repeat to try and um, get the accent in my head. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a wealth of knowledge. Oh, that is, that is outstanding. But would wow. you, did she just put up like some you know standard random YouTube channel thing? Yeah, I mean you you just uh, heaps of people just record themselves all the time. It's a I guess a very narcissistic aspect of our society these days, but it's it's fortunate for me because um, you can literally just type into YouTube, girl, young girl from Southwest Virginia, and oh. up pops you know a teenager who's just talking at the camera for minutes and minutes at a time, and I can just put that straight on my iPod, and I listen to that. I'm so going there right now. That's so wild. When you find, when you get when you get a. Yeah. When you get a, a proposal for an acting gig and it has an accent not your own, are you hesitant or is it a really great challenge for an actor or actress? I, I definitely enjoy the challenge and when you don't sound like yourself, I find that I don't act like myself. If I was doing an Australian accent, I think I would end up playing myself. Um, and just slipping into that a bit easily. But when it's an accent and you can't hear the way you normally speak, uh, you kind of create already created a very different persona and uh, half your work's already done for you. So the movie is post-apocalyptic. It's about the three remaining survivors. It's a love triangle thing and only the three actors, only three of you in this whole film. Yeah, yeah, very small cast, very different to <laughs> the previous jobs. It was good. What did you type in on YouTube? What was that? I'm, I'm, I'm on YouTube right now. I'm trying to find it. What did you type in? <laughs> I think I typed in young girl from Southwest Virginia. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, 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 Secrets I, I, of Hollywood. She's, Secrets she's got blonde hair. Wild. Hey, listen. Our satellite time has run short and it's only been made more interesting by the satellite delay. You did a great job. Not only can you play a reporter, but you actually contributed to a reporting segment quite well. Well done, Margo. <laughs>
Thank you. Over to you guys. <laughs> Good luck on the movie and, and everything else you got coming up. And we'd love to talk to you later. Over. She's great.